Think about a man who you admire or look up to. This could be a celebrity or just a role model who you respect for their hard work. It's very easy to think that these type of men never get rejected. Truth be told, a high-value man has faced more rejection in his life than an average Joe. Listen to that again. A high-value man has faced more rejection in his life than an average Joe. But the reason he is high value is because of the manner in which he deals with this rejection. There's a stoic saying that we suffer more in the mind than in real life. So when it comes to dealing with rejection and using it as stepping stone to level up in life, start by understanding that it's all a mental game. The way you process rejection in your mind will ultimately dictate how you react to it. And the way you react will ultimately dictate whether you turn out to be high-value man or the average Joe. So how should you look at rejection? Simple. Think of your life as an elevator ride. People will jump on your elevator when it's their turn and will leave when it's their stop. You have no control over, but you do have control over your reaction. This is the stoic mindset you must adopt. Instead of shouting and getting angry when it's the person stopped to jump off, Give a simple smile and bid them farewell. Master the art of not being clingy. Be so self-satisfied that the presence or absence of any person, product or place has no impact on you. You can only achieve this by reaching a point where you don't need validation from others. The only person who you should seek validation from is firstly from God and secondly your own self. The man in the mirror should be your best friend. Every time you look at yourself, you admire the person who looks back at you. So learn to enjoy the elevator ride. When it's time for other people to join you on your elevator, they will jump on and enjoy with them. And when it's their stop, bid them farewell with a smile on your face. Just like all habits, you must also slowly build up a tolerance for rejection. The first time you get rejected, you might feel awful. You might tell yourself, you are not worth it. You will never be good enough as that other person. But just like progressive overload in the gym, the more you get rejected, the more you will be desensitized to the concept. You will simply view it as another part of the process in moving forward in life. Here are two quotes that I want you to hear and really understand what they mean. The first quote goes like this. If you have never failed, you have never tried. And second quote is, Success lies on the other side of failure. These motivation quotes hold a lot of truth to them. As a high-value man who is trying to level up across all areas, such as game, charisma, and career, you will without a doubt have situations where the women is just not the right fit, or the business partnership doesn't work out, or the sponsor decides to leave you. Over time, you train your mind to a point to look through these rejections. Think about a fishing net. When it is cast on the waters, let's say 80% of the fish get trapped in it, but the rest of the 20% of the fish will escape away out of the fishing net holes. Same as your life. Let's say you decide to level up your game. At first, it might be 50% of the women that leave your fishing net and avoid you when you decide to approach them. But take it from a constructive point of view and decide to close off as many holes in your fishing net as possible to make sure that very little women, fish, opportunities, business partnerships leave you. For example, one hole in your fishing net could be the way you talk to people. Maybe the topics you discuss are not very interesting, or the way you interact with people makes them avoid you. Then work on closing this hole. But understand this. No matter how many holes you close in your fishing net, you may be the best in the market. But some people and opportunities will always find a way to escape. Never focus your attention on them. Your attention is much more valuable than anything you could possibly name. So treat it with respect. Now that you know how to deal with rejection, there's a very powerful concept that you must learn to master, so rejections and failures never upset you. And that is abundance mindset. This simply means that you understand every failure or setback in life is temporary. This is where you learn to view things from a bird's eye view perspective and zoom out of the situation. To remind yourself it's only a small part of a much bigger game. 
to develop the abundance mindset, start with the way you talk. For example, if someone tells you that you are skinny, put the word for now at the end of the sentence so you could reply back. Okay, I am skinny for now. Never take any insult from anyone without getting aggressive. Take these criticisms from a positive standpoint and work so hard on fixing that area so the next time the person looks at you, they have no insult to throw out. So start with your words and whatever words you say, follow through with them. And the biggest part of abundance mindset is to never get stuck on one single thing, person or place. Regardless of what society may say, there is never the one. Everything is replaceable. Let's say a woman leaves you, you will never bend your boundaries and go simping after her. Why? Because you know there's a bucket load of women out there who would love to have you with them. So remember, brothers, rejections and setbacks are part of the game. Every person in life will get rejected at some point or another, but the way you react to these rejections will ultimately dictate whether you turn out to be a life-hating average Joe or a high-value man who is fully focused on his goal and desensitized to rejection altogether. By the way, don't forget to show some love. Tap that subscribe button and hit like for the algorithm. To see the next best way to level up as a man, watch these videos here.